In this video, I'm going to compare two different types of hydroponics, the deep water culture and the cracky method. These are essentially the same methods, except that one has air bubbling through it and the other doesn't. And I want to see how those two compare. I also want to try growing different types of plants in the deep water culture. I got a hold of eight Vivor deep water culture pails. And I've done a separate video to review that product. And it seems like a pretty good way to grow things, particularly outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use those pails, grow them outside on my deck where they get sun pretty much all day long and see how plants do in these systems. I'm also going to compare the growth in these systems to the arrow gardens. As you might know, I did a comparison of growing tomatoes and lettuce and some basil in three different types of arrow garden systems. And uh, the lettuce came out really good, but the tomatoes haven't done that well. And I want to see if the tomatoes are going to do better outside where they get more light in a hydroponic system. So let's have a closer look at the setup I used. So I've got my bucket set up. I'm going to run them here on my deck, one of the sunniest spots I have. The pump is sitting down in the middle here, so it can easily reach all of these buckets. These six over here are going to be tested with the deep water culture technique. So the air stone in each of these six will be bubbling all of the time. The two in the far end I've set up so that the air won't be bubbling through there. So that's testing the cracky method. To fill these, I had to make up a fair amount of nutrient solution. And for that, I'm using the master blend. This is called the lettuce formula. Comes in three different packages. The basic fertilizer, Epsom salts, and calcium nitrate. Now those who watch my videos know that I tell everyone there's no use for Epsom salts in the garden. And that's true, but here we don't have any soil, so we do have to add the magnesium. I made up the solution on a large garbage pail, but that wasn't enough for all of these. So what I did was I made up one batch and I put equal amounts in each bucket. Then I made up a second batch, exactly the same as the first one, but I might've made a slight adjustment, you know, when I'm measuring them out, maybe I'm not that accurate. Then I took the second pail and again, put it in each one of these. That ensures that the nutrient solution in every one of these is identical. It's important to do things like that if you're running a comparison experiment. I then put the lids on, put in some of the clay pellets, and I'm ready to plant. It's the third week of July and it's time to do a review of how my hydroponic experiment is going. The six containers over here are all using the deep water culture. So air has been bubbling through them the whole time. The two on the right side has no air. So that's the cracky method. They all use the same fertilizer, the same containers. I have two kinds of peppers here. This one back here is not doing very well. This one up here is not bad. It's got several flowers and it even has a little pepper in here. The lettuce is growing great. Now, I harvested some out the back, but I didn't want to touch the front to show you how big it really got. We do have warm weather now, so I better harvest it because it's starting to bolt. Back here is some bush beans. They're flowering really nicely. And I think I'm going to get a pretty good crop out of these. Overall, I'm quite impressed with this system. The plants are growing really well. Now, I can't do a direct comparison with my other hydroponic systems, which are the arrow garden type systems, because they weren't started at the same time. But they are all using the exact same fertilizer. The plants here are growing much better than in the other system, particularly the tomatoes over here. These are nice squat tomatoes with big leaves, nice healthy looking plants. The tomatoes I tried to grow in the arrow gardens didn't do very well. They're all right and they're flowering and there's little tomatoes on them, but a lot of the leaves are dying back. They're spindly. The lettuce did all right in those systems. One of the big differences between these systems and that arrow garden is the amount of light. So I took my lux meter and measured the amount of light when the sun was out here and compared that to the arrow garden. The light here is five times as high. 
It's no wonder the plants are growing better. In the front here, we have two small bush type tomatoes. And if I compare the two, I probably say the deep water culture is a little larger than the other one. Now remember, I only have one plant in each test group here, so it's not a very scientific comparison. But this looks a little larger. If I look at the plants at the back, these are larger tomato plants. They look about the same. And in fact, that one over there using the cracky system already has a good sized tomato on it. Overall, just comparing the plants, I'd have to say that the deep water culture and the cracky system are giving about the same results. I'm not really convinced that bubbling this air through it is doing any good. This is the bush tomato growing in the cracky system. And you can see that it's already started to make some little tomatoes. Now let's have a look at the roots. This is a really nice root system. Nice and white, large amount of roots. It looks really healthy. And underneath here, I can see some more tomatoes. Now let's compare that to the deep water culture. There's a tiny tomato there. I haven't found any others though. There's the root system. It's not quite as large. And you can see browning here on some of the roots. That's not a good sign. The roots have also tangled up with the air bubbler, but that shouldn't matter provided the water level stays high enough. Now let's have a look at the roots at the back here. There's my tomatoes coming, doing really well, but the deep water culture doesn't have any tomatoes yet. There's the root system, it's quite large. It's getting a little brown up here. It's not quite as white as this one, but I've also noticed that my water level has gone too low. These front pails still have two thirds of the water in there. Back here, we're down to about a third. So I have to top these up. Again, the root system on the deep water culture is not as large and much browner. The level here is down as well. I also need to start tying these up on the balcony. So if I'm comparing cracky to deep water culture, the plants are about the same in both systems. Deep water culture might be slightly larger, but the cracky system has earlier tomatoes. If I'm looking at the root system, the root system and the cracky system is certainly much better than the deep water culture. And with such a small sampling, we really can't reach any conclusions except that both systems are working quite well. Both systems will produce a pretty good crop. The root system on these front tomatoes is actually better than the cracky system. It's a larger root system and the roots are a nice white color. In the deep water culture, the roots aren't quite so white and the clump isn't as large. When I look at the roots and the tomato plants in the back, I sort of see the same thing. Again, there's not a large difference in the roots between the two systems, but on root growth alone, I think cracky is working better. On plant size, I think deep water culture is working a little better. Overall, I think you could use either system and end up with just about the same growth. Now, if you'd like to see my other hydroponic videos, click on the link right here. Happy gardening.